A disaster has befallen Kilcreath Temple. Didn't I send you to Solitude? This place isn't safe. The Ice Reach Coven performed a ritual and summoned one of those Hera Storms. Now Kilcreath Temple is crawling with Hera Fiends. I'm sorry, but you're too late. The Coven unleashed their unnatural Hera Storm. And now the entire area is overrun by vampires and hero fiends. Still, meeting you again is fortuitous. We worked well together before, and I could use your help. There may be survivors who could use your help. And if we can learn more about the ritual that summoned the hero storm, we might be able to determine how to stop them. Or at the very least, we can figure out where they plan to strike next. I could use your help to examine the strange pikes erected around the temple. Harrow fiends and vampires roam the area, making it difficult to get close. Hence the need for your assistance. You see, I'm not that confident in my combat prowess. The Ice Reach Coven performed a ritual that unleashed a harrow storm on the temple. It struck without warning and evaporated as quickly as it began. But in its wake, it left behind harrow fiends. Innocent priests and pilgrims transformed into monsters. That's what I heard the Ice Reach Coven call the storm that struck Kilcreath Temple. It's magical in nature. The result of some sort of ritual performed by the witches. I'm still investigating. But I think the harrow fiends are a byproduct of the storm. of Meridia. Maybe they can tell us more about what happened at the temple. Priests and pilgrims of Kiltrick Temple. We need assistance. A great and terrible storm struck, and so many of us were lost. A temple dedicated to Meridia, the Lady of Light. Pilgrims come from across Skyrim to pray and seek blessings, especially at this time of the year. Please, talk to Priest Babian. You'll find her in the nearby cave, tending to the injured. She's the ranking priest, after High Priest Varkor. But we haven't seen the High Priest since the storm hit. Bavian led a group of us to safety. There are more priests and pilgrims out there. If you're willing to help, please talk to Bavian. The living take precedence. We should search for survivors while investigating the pikes. Another pilgrim seeking shelter from a storm? No, you don't appear to be a pilgrim. What brings you here? Even in our darkest hour, Meridia provides a light. We were on our way to see High Priest Varkor when the storm hit. I've never seen such power. It raged like a thing alive. I gathered who I could, but the others are still out there. Start at the stables to the northwest. I saw Acolyte Yold, Priest Irena, and Rolygmorf the Pilgrim seek shelter there. If you find them, send them back here. After that, meet me at the Pilgrim's Lodge to the west of the temple. Look for Yold, Direna, and Rolygmorf at the stables. 
Then meet me at the Pilgrim's Lodge. I will head there after I finish caring for these injured souls. Meridius light shine upon you, good friend. Kilcreed Temple provides a safe haven for the priests and pilgrims of Meridia. At least it did, before this terrible storm struck. The Lady of Light has always protected us. Why today should be different, I don't understand. No, that honor goes to our High Priest Varkor. I am but her humble assistant. She is my mentor and my friend. After you find the others, I'll meet you at the Pilgrim's Lodge, and we can search for the High Priest together. We were on our way to the temple for prayers when an oily black ichor roiled in the sky. The wind picked up and red streaks of lightning struck all around us. We barely made it to the safety of this cave. The storm abated. Then the sound started. Groans, shrieks, blood-curdling screams. It sounded like wild and feral beasts followed in the wake of the storm. I sent Priest Isofnir outside to keep watch, but I told him not to take any unnecessary risks. We're priests, not soldiers, after all. No, that honor goes to our High Priest Varkor. I am but her humble assistant. She is my mentor and my friend. After you find the others, I'll meet you at the Pilgrim's Lodge, and we can search for the High Priest together. An alchemical residue. That should prove useful. What happened to this poor woman? She looks distraught. Why has Meridia forsaken me? Keep calm. No harm. High Priest Vakur will find me. Meridia will save me. When things are darkest, her light shines the way. Please don't eat me. Priest Bavian? Where's High Priest Vakur? Did those horrible creatures get her? We hid in the stables. But then, Priest Arena changed. That's when I ran in here.
completed it. Just ordinary sticks and rope now. Interesting. No visible damage despite its proximity to the eye of the storm. Acolyte Ivina can't hear me. She's standing right here, but she's gone. Is this what would have happened to all of us if I hadn't gotten the others into the cave? I tried to heal Ivina, but Meridia's light had no effect. But what was that about? Priest Arena and the stables. Is like poor Ivina. We must find High Priest Varkor. If anyone is powerful enough to cure this unnatural ailment, it will be her. Moridia willing. We'll find the High Priest and everyone else safe in the temple. We need to find High Priest Varkor. Let's head to the temple. by Meridia's light. So many dead. How could Meridia let this happen to her faithful? Holy place! We need to find the temple priest!
like vicious animals. We must... Tria! Molazu! Molazu gave me no choice, Bavian. I swear it. Just this morning, we were debating the mysteries of the colored rooms. Now... Now he's gone. He attacked me. He tried to devour me. I had no choice but to kill him. To kill a cherished student. Signs? Do you want to know if he announced his intentions before he turned into a ravenous beast? No. Nothing. One moment he was fine. The next, he was a monster. The high priest took the survivors and fled to the catacombs. You need to help them. Priest Armin? Oh, wait. Follow me. He fled into the vestry. Beyond all reason, even in this temple, Meridius Light does nothing to help those afflicted with this feral curse. We need to reach the catacombs and find High Priest Varko. The catacombs can be accessed from deeper within the temple. We just need to get the key from the Chamberlain's Sanctum. I think I know why the High Priest went to the catacombs. It's not only a defensible location, it's where our relic is kept. Meridia's brilliance. It has the power to channel her light and purge the temple of this corruption. At least, I hope it does. High Priest Varkor wouldn't just hide in the catacombs. She must have a plan to save us.
Did you find the key that opens the catacombs? Did you retrieve the key from the Chamberlain's Sanctum? We need it to open the door to the catacombs. Perfect. There are only two keys that I know of, and the High Priest has the other one. Now open the door, and let's find High Priest Varkor. Retrieve the relic. Retrieve the relic, and we can escape through the old air shaft. my friend. Let's meet back in the cave. How fragile my faith. 
when I can depend more on help from a stranger than from my god. And such terrible things we witnessed today. An unnatural storm. Vampires, innocent people turning into monsters. I fear this corruption cannot simply be prayed away. It seems that Meridia has abandoned us to our fate. Why? I cannot say. Ah, oh, thank you. These belonged to Roligmolf and Acolyte Lorivor. I wish we could have saved them, but at least we can use these to remember them. I doubt we can recover their remains before the temple is sealed. With Meridia's brilliance, I'm not sure my faith is strong enough to use it after all this, but I suppose I have to try. I owe that much to High Priest Varkor's memory. Do you have the relic? Oh, I'll work with our remaining priests. Try to use the relic to purge the corruption and seal the temple. If that doesn't work, well, let's hope that it does. Thank you, my friend. You stood with us while Meridia turned away. We won't forget that. The injured still need to be treated and the temple's corruption needs to be dealt with. Despite the way I feel about Meridia now, I still have a responsibility. I won't walk away from it. I'm not like Meridia walking from us. I lost a lot of things today. We all did. But that doesn't mean I won't keep trying to help the faithful. There are injured to tend to, and those poor souls who lost their mind to the storm. I want to find a way to help them all. High Priest Varkor claimed it contained Meridia's divine light. There are rituals for releasing such power. Whether I or one of the other priests can make use of it, we'll see. I just hope we don't experience any more of those storms. Can you feel the lingering energy? That's Daedric, if I'm not mistaken. 
These depleted witch pikes expended a lot of power to summon the Harrowstorm. Now they're just ordinary sticks, but even in this state, they tell us much about the ritual that flowed through them. I'm sure now that the pikes play a significant role as focal points for the storm ritual. The prepared pikes are depleted as the ritual runs its course, but I sensed lingering energy, including a Daedric taint. And we found an intriguing residue. It's the remains of an alchemical poultice that was spread over the pikes. Smells like rotting fungus, doesn't it? With a little study, I should be able to identify each ingredient in its makeup. Then I can begin to understand the ritual. One other thing I want to check first. I noticed the pilgrims leading a cart away from the temple right before the storm hit. Coven members could have tried to slip away among the innocents. The cart should be along the road south of the temple. Alive, but unresponsive. Check the crates and see if they contain the smuggled items. Did you find anything of interest in the crate? I can't believe anyone knowing the involved would have let themselves be exposed to the storm. Perhaps the pilgrims were tricked into transporting the crate. Or maybe it was slipped into their cart. Yes, of course. Though I fear what we may find there. The temple was clearly at the center of the storm. Regardless, there's still a lot we don't know about the effects of this ritual. Observing the target area could offer new insights. These are temple priests and pilgrims. It seems the storm killed them. I'll need to perform more tests. But from what we've seen, I believe the storm affects mortals in three distinct ways. It kills them, transforms them into harrow fiends, and leaves them mindless. I suppose I'd say it harrowed those poor pilgrims. I want to learn more about the ritual and how it produces the Harrow Storms. And I need to confirm my theories about the storm's effects. I'll start by examining the residue from the Witch Pike to identify the components used to power the ritual. My alchemical equipment. It's extremely fragile, so I left it in my pack. I hid it among a copse of trees once I saw all the vampires and Herophines. Once I retrieve it, I can find a place to begin my analysis. That's close enough, Leech. Wait, wait! I'm not part of the coven! Looks like I made it back just in time. This place is crawling with vampires, and that one was about to make a meal out of you. 
House of Ravenwatch. I've heard of them, but he's a long way from Rivenspire. Well, if you're willing to trust a vampire, I suppose I can too. I spotted a coven witch. If we hurry, we might be able to catch her. On the cliff overlooking the temple, calls herself Sister Embrit. I was going to rush her, but I wanted to make sure you hadn't run afoul of any of these monsters first. No offense, Fen. Come on, if we're lucky, the witch is still up there. Perhaps I could question the witch before you introduce her to your impressive axe blade? needs refinement. Kill her before she can summon another storm. Willing sacrifices. How nice. Sacrifice. I'd rather give you my axe, witch. Way? Go with your vampire friend. I'm gonna look around here. Do you see? These are the same as the urns smuggled from Bankarai. They didn't just shatter, they exploded. I can sense traces of magicka clinging to the shards that match the energy used in the storm ritual. These other fragments, though... All this rubble scattered around didn't just come from these urns. The texture and patterns are different. They appear to have used the funerary dust in the urns to summon the harrow storms. But I'm not sure what was inside the larger vessels. Look at the shape of the fragments. They come from a hollow receptacle of some sort. Something at least as tall as you. Perhaps larger. Just another piece of the puzzle. Maybe when I analyze the witch pike residue, an answer will suggest itself. Thank you, but no. I try to avoid large population centers. The temptation. You understand. I'll find some place nearby, but out of the way where I can set up my equipment and work undisturbed. I'll send word when I have something to report. I met a clever woman who lives in the bog near Morthal. Old Mjolins, a dying breed among the Nords. A practitioner of the old magic. The locals both admire and fear her. If anyone can help me untangle the coven's ritual, it's her. Mjolin's experience with the old ways and reach magic make her ideally suited to assist me in this endeavor. She's the closest thing to an expert we're likely to find out here. At least one who doesn't want to feed our eyes to a harpy. Western Skyrim consists of three holds. Hothengar, Hjalmarch, and Karthald. Morthal is the capital of Hjalmarch, 
It's located southeast of Solitude, along the River Hjall. Old Mjolin lives in the marshlands nearby. The Raven Watch has had to curtail rogue vampire clans, and put down feral blood fiends on occasion, but I've never dealt with anything like this before. People turning into harrow fiends, or becoming mindless harrowed. It's a nightmare. Yes, but more research is required to confirm anything. Still, from what we observed here, it appears the Harrowstorm produced three distinct results in those caught within it. It turned them into Harrowfiends. So, what did your vampire friend discover? Reach witches summoning magical storms to create feral vampires? That's horrible, but to what purpose? Well, that's the next puzzle to solve. First, we need to get this information to the Queen. Here. This was for Brondel, but it's yours now. Queen Gerhild needs to hear what we discovered at Kilcreath Temple. Hopefully that will be enough for her to get us an audience with High King Spargrim. The Queen seemed reasonable. She'll believe us. As for Spargrim, who can tell? I haven't met the man, but everything I've heard describes him as prideful, arrogant, and hard-headed. Even with the Queen's help, there's no guarantee. I'd like to knock down the palace door, grab him by the throat, and shake him until he listens. That would probably start a war, though, and Joran specifically asked me to avoid that. For now, let's bring our evidence to Queen Gerhild. If there's anything else we need to discuss, let's get it out of the way now before we return to Solitude. Hey, you and Fenorian came to that conclusion, not me. Still, it makes as much sense as anything. As to why, I have no idea. This connection to vampires, though, that's troubling. We should keep Fen away until we get into Svargrim's good graces. A clever woman? Out here? Nords are extremely distrustful of magic, especially Nords from Western Skyrim. I'm surprised the people of Morthal tolerate her presence. If anyone can help Fen figure out the Coven's ritual, though, it would be her. Our priority remains getting an audience with High King Svargrim. We need to convince him that the Ice Reach Coven is a threat to his kingdom, and get him to help us stop them. Let's return to Solitude and present our findings to the Queen. Clever men and women are Nords with an aptitude for magic, though most use the term to refer to practitioners of the old ways. They're rare. Not the usual adepts found at the Mage's Guild. Distrust of magic runs deep in Skyrim, especially out here. Could be that the elves our ancestors fought soured our taste for magic. Or maybe there weren't enough skalds singing about wizards going to Sovngarde. Might be that Nords just prefer their natural talents. Either way, Magic isn't popular here. 